Well, we obviously are here to talk about suicide and mental health. And mm -hmm. this song that you guys have put out, Let Me Love You, is, the whole music video is centered around that one girl. If you were to talk to that girl right now, what would your message to her be at the beginning of the video? Lacey. Wow. I think I would, I would want to squeeze her really tight and not let her go. Um, I think it's exactly kind of the chorus is like, you know, in the video, you can see her really, really come to this understanding that all the things that she's trying to find satisfaction is, is leading her into a more despairing place. And, and that, uh, and that's the truth, you know, it, you can't find it in all those things. And so, yeah, <clears throat> so I would just, she, you know, we find love in, you know, if we, if we, the closest we can get to it is in people <clears throat> and then the people fail us too. And where do you go? So I just, I just would want to tell her love is real. And even if it, if it seems like it's failing you everywhere else, it's, it exists, it's here and it's real and, um, is worth fighting through to find it and to experience it. So. Yep. And, and that you're, you're on a journey and living a life. Countless others have lived and countless others have w woken up hmm. to real life and real love and gotten through the, uh, the worst mm -hmm. things imaginable. And so can you, you know? Yes. And I probably wouldn't grab her and hold her tight because that might be weird. <laughs> I would. But I would let Lacey do that. And with you being two veterans in the rock music genre, as two people who have traveled the world, found success rapidly in a very saturated market of music, what made you want to shift your perspective and focus on suicide prevention awareness at this point in time right now? Starting with you, Lacey. Well, <clears throat> for me, it's always in the forefront of my mind because of if I get another day, I know it's because I've barely missed that into my life. And I, I can't, you know, I had such a long period and it feels long <clears throat> because it was so dark. Um, but a long period where I would wake up and hate waking up every day. I, I wished I hadn't, it was like the worst part of the day. And so to be able to wake up another day, I always, re <laughs> I always realized I didn't have to. I mean, I could have missed this. And and to see all the things that I've seen since that day, so many adventures, so many amazing stories, so much. I learned so much about love. I learned so much about myself and about, about the people around me, about family, about truth and beauty and God and, and, and that life is a gift. I, I never, I learned so much since that day. And I would have missed it, you know, and I, I recognize that. So for me, every day I get, if there's an opportunity to tell someone that they're loved and to tell them life is worth living and to tell them um, to not give up, I want to do that. I mean, what else am I waking up for if, you know, <laughs> yeah. I would say, um, Life is about loving, learning, and overcoming. And we've overcome so much. When you overcome something, you want to share how you overcame that because you are buried with circumstances in life. And to have that lifted off of you 
Mm. Is it's like winning the ultimate lottery of the universe to have the burdens lifted off of you. And there's yeah. nothing like it. And I was just sharing a scripture the other day. Uh, there's a scripture that says these light, we're talking about our life's light and momentary troubles and afflictions are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. And so I love that because it's actually speaking that our troubles are doing something for us. They're wow. achieving for us something. And so I just had this like realization like, wow. So my troubles aren't for nothing. They're actually commanded by God to do good things for me. And and I just been ch like not challenging but just kind of encouraging my followers, look, if you you're, if you don't believe in the Bible, you don't believe in 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 God, I I just I'm offering you these promises, these mind-blowing promises by God in his word. They're they're so good that you can't even comprehend how good they are. And I'm 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 like he just wants us any human to dare to believe these good promises. And I'm like, forget about the controversy of the Bible that's in there. You can figure that stuff as you go. Figure that stuff out as you go. And later on, look for the promises, not the negative. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, I just okay. get lit up, man. It's like there's so many great promises in the Word that, you know, it's crazy. And so long enough to see those things be real and true and actually work i've lived in those promises it's amazing yeah that's the crazy thing is like it's not just blind faith like people say well i believe this well i believe that you start as a step you take a a, a step in believing but then you 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 graduate to knowing because of the constant experiences that you have with the believing transmutes mm -hmm. it to knowing and and you like you would you would bet your life on on it being real because it is real and it's hard to explain to people that haven't experienced it you know because there are walls up anytime you say jesus or christianity a lot of walls go up because there's been a lot of abuse and a lot of uh media focus on the negative rather the positive so but yeah, man, that's that's what we've overcome. That's why we share about our overcoming these, de you know, depression, suicidal ideation. We share it in music. We share it in word. We share it however we can. And we share how we've overcome it because it works. Yeah. And all we can do is tell what we've seen and not just what we've seen as we've told what we've seen. We've watched it transform other people's lives. And they have a story now that they're changing people because of their own experience of seeing. Um, and to be able to talk to anybody watching this right now is is a is a moment for you, especially if you don't believe or if you're not sure or if you want this to be true, to be able to look at you and say through this camera and say, believe it's true. Yeah, I can tell you I've seen it. I didn't believe and I couldn't not after I seen what I seen. And, you know, I, I just want to, it's good. It's, it's like to be able to say that this is a moment for you right now, that you're not hearing this on accident. There's a reason why you're hearing this right now. Um, it's real <laughs> and you're not forgotten. You're not, you're seen, you're known and you're loved and pursued <laughs> and you all we do is respond you know when somebody throws a a life preserver you know it's there for you to grab onto um you know we do need to respond and it's there you know so yeah you, if someone, go ahead if someone were to walk up to you right now with a razor blade in their hand and scars on their wrist what would your message to them be I think I think the same thing, you know. Um, your your body's a gift, your life is a gift, and you're a gift. 
to the world around you. You're God's artwork. And um, and I would want to hug him. <laughs> I, just wanna, I would want to squeeze him and not let him go because I know what it feels like to not to not know that I'm valuable or to think I'm trash or to feel so much pain inside that's not visible on the outside that I need something to remind me who that I'm that I'm messed up inside because I can't get caught up in the fakeness of the world as it is outside of knowing there's a purpose for me. I I remember that feeling of wanting of having so much pain inside that I wanted it to feel it on the outside so that it made sense uh, with my experience. And um if they could just be loved into healing, <laughs> like I just that really is the heart of that song. I mean it really is I don't know how to get close. I mean I got I guess I'm kind of showing the fact that I'm I'm a I'm a love language physical touch person because <laughs> I'm like I want to squeeze them and don't let them go and uh, if we can put a song in somebody's head that you know that could hug their heart somehow you know <laughs> that's what I would want to do and I love the uh you know when we so I just want to give a shout out to J.R. Barice um he came up with the idea to uh to record the let me love you version and you know since i heard that song with dj snake and bieber on the radio back 2017 whatever it was um i felt like the world needed to hear that song and that like you know god's spirit was using bieber's voice to for, so humanity could hear, like, let just let me love you. You know, I, I honestly, I don't mean to be weird, spirit, you know, spiritually or nothing. I just felt like a whisper inside of me, like, this is the message that wow. I, I want to send to humanity. Because mm -hmm. so many people, you know, have been hurt by the hypocrisy of religion. And, and, uh, and they think that's God. And he's just so loving mm -hmm. and arms wide open always and so to do that song you know i know its original intent was about relationships and whatnot but i just it was such a obvious um choice to make ours about you know reaching out to people that are hurting instead yeah. of like a relationship thing and so it was just it was a a natural progression and a natural uh, idea that just it was like okay JR sent the song, and when I heard it, I was like, this song sounds awesome. This is what the message has to be, you know. And then talking to Lacey and her husband Josh and and just getting this concept of the video and everything, like it really came alive then because cause obviously we have the same heart to just, you know, to reach out to the to the wounded and help them. And so once we started talking – it was on and then i just want to give a shout out to uh also sebastian uh paquette mm -hmm. and allison oh allison mm -hmm. i forget your last name i'm horrible but uh but they just killed it in the video and lacy too oh my gosh we were hitting roadblocks and lacy helped get us out of these roadblocks because it was the video was awesome to begin with but it just needed that extra message and that that just she had so many she had such the Lacey, thank you. You had such the vision for it and you helped us get the vision of it realized. And so I really love it how it turned out. It couldn't be better. Well, I I, I wanna say when you said about the whisper thing in your heart that you this was it's not weirdly spiritual because it it was from God it was like exactly the thing. I needed to hear, I needed to sing, I needed hope um, that this is still something I can sing, that I can sing in the face of tragedy. And I talk about that a little bit in our press release, just that I was facing a tragedy, losing somebody, and that it was like, I get another chance to tell somebody after this death, after this loss, that that they're loved and that 
and to, to plead with them to let to let God love them and to plead with this generation to let God love them. It is the most amazing adventure I've ever been on to say yes to that love and to let him love me. And I wouldn't hate for anybody to miss it or cut it short. And it is true what you said. It's just so powerful and so amazing that and supernaturally right on time yeah. to me and I think for this generation and what people are dealing with. So, Man, so good. And God uses it, everything, like not everything, but he uses, like, actually he does. He turns all things yeah. around for good, but uh, he can use a song. He can use a sign on the road. He can, he can, uh, you can feel a, a inner whispering, you know, it could be a thought that comes to you. And, uh, you know, for, for this purpose of what we're talking about, he's using this song right now. And, you know, one of billions of things that he uses one and two or whatever, however many, many people involved with this song, you know, just, we're just a few of the billions he uses, you know, to, to get his message out there. You know, you know what? I can't even begin to articulate how grateful I am for my life and for overcoming all the darkness. And Lacey, I know you too. We were so just locked in the the worst of the worst emotions and the thoughts and we are imprisoned and to be to to really be able to look at everybody and say that we love life now it's just <laughs> well i'll never forget i'll never take it for granted how how bad it was and how good it is now to compare mm-hmm. not to say that i don't have a lot of you know hard days still but man, I have a, it's like a peace, a blanket of peace that just knowing that tomorrow's going to be better because God always comes through and it always gets better. Always, always gets better. Especially as you get older, I found, you know, it's harder when, you, when you're younger. I'm not going to uh, dismiss that truth, you know, but as you mature, as your mind matures, your emotions mature, as you get older. Life gets better too. So, Mm -hmm. and kind of as the last piece to this being the call to action, what do you want people to walk away from this live stream event on September 10th with, whether it be heart support, hashtag Mm -hmm. choose life? um, What do you want the last thing you say to everyone before they show the Let Me Love You video to be call to action, et cetera? Well, yeah, I think that making sure that people connect with the resources that we're highlighting there and if they need that, um, to not give up on that, to answer your text messages when people are reaching out to you, to answer your phone when people are calling you, you know you need to answer, Um, and which was what I would say to my friend that is not with us anymore. She should have answered her text messages and her phone. (laughs) Um, that that's a really important thing. And I would say connect with the resources. And if you know somebody, you know, and you know, one of the most important things you can do is just let them know that you see them and let this can touch base and, and connect them to the resources because when you do your part, and you you listen to that whisper that Brian was talking about about reaching out or loving somebody, then you can look back no matter what happened and know that you did your part. And that was a hard part too about losing my friend is that I could have looked back and said I should have done this, I should have done this, I should have done this. But I can honestly say I listened to that whisper every time. And we, we can't change what happened. You have to accept the things that you can't change. You have to, the serenity prayer, you have to change what you can and you have to ask for wisdom to know the difference. And we can't do everything, but we can do something. And so what is that one thing that you can do? Mm. And um, yeah. And so listen for that whisper that's leading to life, always leading to life, love, joy, peace, follow peace. If you find yourself coming to life and you find that clarity, 
That's the real moment. It's when the chaos comes. That's what's real. When the chaos comes and the confusion comes, that's the part where you need to go back to what you knew before. Stand on the things you know. Because there's a million things we don't know, but there are some things we do know. And you and you're loved. Yeah. Yep. And I would just end it with like I love everything. I agree with everything she said. Resources, like use use them. You know, anything you gotta do to find that freedom we're talking about. And um just that main lyric in the song for this video you're gonna watch, don't don't you give up, you know? Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Do not give up. You're and, worth it. Uh, could you give uh kind of the similar summary that you just did and mentioned to go check out heartsupport.com? Me? So basically the same thing you just said, or if, <laughs> if you're say, if you're struggling and can't find a reason to live right now, please go check out heartsupport.com for resources. Okay. And follow up. We care about you. We love you. Okay. That was good. You should say it. <laughs> yeah. You I'm cutting it. me out. It's going to be just y'all. Re- really? Mm-hmm. So you're not going to be in it at all? Mm-mm. It's all y'all. <laughs> Okay, say say it again cuz I want to say it right. If you're struggling to find a reason to live right now, there are resources available for you at heartsupport.com. Okay. All right. And I just want to say to anybody out there, if you're struggling to find a reason to live, there are resources available for you. You can get through this. Just go to heartsupport.com and uh you know, go and search for all their resources and they're there to help you and to follow through with you. And Lacey, can you give a last, like you are loved, you have purpose, just speak from your heart. One last thing. <clears throat> yes, because you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. You are, you have purpose. There is a purpose for your life. You're not an accident. You're intentionally created by God who loves you. And I got to meet, meet him. And he's love. And and you're his artwork. And he hasn't in, he's intentionally made you for right now. And he believes in you, whether you believe in him or not. That's why you have breath. That's why you have new days. And and he and you're loved. And uh, Brian, could you kind of give a transition into the "Let Me Love You" video? Like, thank you to Heart Support for making this event happen. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my other thing again, just because. Yeah. Uh, um, just to have, I just had something come up to me, but uh, yeah, I would just say that um, just that lyric for the chorus. You know, hold on, let me say it again. I would leave people with, you know, just the lyric for the chorus that uh, on the original song, Don't You Give Up. So I would encourage people, don't give up. Do anything you got to do. Get rid of toxic people. Don't listen to toxic music. And get around positivity and go find help through like heart support is there for you and they have resources. You can go check out all the resources, use them. They are there for you to help you. And we just want to thank heart support and for everybody involved in this. It was amazing. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a heavy subject, but you know, we're, we love people and we love laughing and having fun in life. And we want you to find that as well. So, And we want you to check out our video right now for Let Me Love You. Hope you enjoy it. Awesome. Is there anything either of you would like to add? Because we're going to compile this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to say one thing I feel like maybe will help somebody. Um, You know, sometimes we can feel like we get overwhelmed at how little we are and that we can't make any difference and that so we don't do anything at all. Um, and 
And there is, we are not called to save the world all by ourself. Um, what we're called to do is what we have the grace to do in the moment that we're in. You have permission to be present with what is right in front of you. And, and um, for me, that's my family. And I have a lot of kids, a lot of people that I, my heart is like, but what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And, um, and every day I have to say, I am, I, I'm called to be present and to love the one that's right in front of me. And I don't have to love every, I don't have to save everybody. I can't. It's not about that. It's about doing your part to do with whatever is right in front of you. And sometimes that means you need to rest. Sometimes that means you need the help. And, um, and that's important too. So don't be overwhelmed um, in that way. Just do the one thing that's right in front of you and listen to that whisper to rest if you find, follow peace, follow joy, follow that loving thing that's beyond yourself. And you can't do everything, but you can do something. So, and you can't do it all the time, but you can do it in that present moment whenever, you know, it's time and you'll know. That's kind of what I wanted, yeah, I wanted to say. That's good. And all these okay. musicians, man, all these musicians on this event, they truly, truly care and have been through heavy things like many of you are going through. So just know that we understand. I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. 